Here's a quick review of the Impact Seal Top Hat Ground Bouncer I bought a while back. Um, finally had a chance to use it this weekend. And I put a few rounds through it and, and you know, I'm kind of surprised how, how it turned out. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, here is, we shot a few rounds at this. And um, I don't know, I guess I thought it would be a little bit more self-healing. I mean, it's chewed up pretty good and we did not shoot that many rounds at it. I mean, uh, you see these small dots here? I'll try to set this down with these dots here and here. Um, those are actually 22 rounds that hit, which, yeah, they didn't even penetrate um, for the most part. You see the little dots there and there. Um, the bigger ones, like uh, this right here, that's a 223 round, so we went a little bit more, and those did pierce through. And, I mean, it worked pretty good for those rounds because it didn't, it didn't blow it apart or anything. But then when I was surprised was my 40... Um, caliber Smith and Wesson. I had a Glock that I, I shot it with, and I'm trying to figure out which one it was. I think it was, it was this one right here, and it blasted through that pretty good. So I mean, you can imagine if a couple, you know, if you go through 100 rounds of that, you're not going to have much left. And then it said it goes all the way up to 50 caliber. So this one right here, we hung from a tree, and that wound is from a 270 Winchester mag, and how it blew that apart. Actually, entered through that side, if you can see it there. And blew it apart through there. So they say it can handle over a thousand rounds. I don't think so, but definitely fun to shoot at and uh, maybe get a couple of trips out for it. And we got it on clearance, so it wasn't that big of an expense. But that's uh, my review of the Impact Seal Top Hat Ground Bouncer.